Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi everyone, in this video we will go through describing the mechanism of electrophilic addition of alkenes. Now again, let's look at a very simple example involving uh, ED, CH2 double bond CH2 with bromine, undergoing addition reaction to give me CH2Br attached to CH2Br. Now again, before we draw the mechanism uh, proper, let's look at our alkene and try to explain, try to understand why alkenes undergo electrophilic addition reaction. Now basically, electrophilic reactions just means that your functional group reacts with an electrophile which is positively charged. So one way of remembering the charge of an electrophile is just to remember this as the E+. Plus. So this guy is uh, electrophile, which is positively charged. Now how come alkenes can react with electrophiles? It's because the double bond of alkene is electron rich, so therefore it attracts a species that is electron poor. So this is an electron rich region, it attracts the electrophile, which is electron poor. Now how about addition reaction? How come alkene undergoes addition reaction? Again, this idea is pretty simple. If you can look at the carbon, the carbon is unsaturated, so therefore it can take in groups without losing any species. You just open up a double bond and become saturated on addition reaction. So now that we have a better understanding of why alkenes undergo electrophilic addition reaction, let's move on to describing the mechanism proper. Now the first step of electrophilic addition involves the approach of my bromine, perpendicular to my alkene. Now when my bromine approaches in this way, what happens is there will be a distortion of my electron cloud of my bromine molecule. So uh, because my alkene is electron rich, so what you will do is you push the electron cloud away from my bromine and distort the electron cloud from bromine molecule. So the electron cloud actually will become something like this. So the consequence is the bromine that is closer to my alkene will be uh, delta positive and the bromine that is further away will be a delta minus charge. So let me take away the uh, electron cloud and just show the charge of my bromine. Now the bromine that is closer to my alkene will carry a partial positive charge the bromine that's further away will carry a partial minus charge. Now this bromine which is closer to my alkene will be the electrophile because it is positively charged. So what happens is I will draw an uh, arrow from my double bond to my Br plus. Now this is a full arrow because it's the movement of two electrons. Then this Br Br bond will break. Both electrons will go to the Br, which is partial minus charge. Now, the first step of electrophilic addition will be by slow step. So again, I'll just write a slow on top of the arrow, and the products form will be something like this. Now we know that the double bond will open up, so it becomes a C single bond C. Now let's say this is the carbon that takes both of these electrons will form a bond with Br. So this will be my CBr bond. Now this carbon now will have a short of one electron because it's being taken away by this carbon to form a CBr bond, which is here. So this carbon now becomes positively charged, short of one electron. How about this Br Br bond? We already know that this Br Br bond is broken, so both electrons will go to this Br, partial minus charge. So this Br will now become negatively charged. So that will be the products of the first step. Now, the second step actually is just a consequence of the end of the first step. Now in this case, my Br is minus charge. This carbon is positively charged. So therefore, it will just be your Br minus joining to your carbon cation to form the product. How we draw the arrow pushing, I have to show the lone pair of my Br minus. When I draw, I point to carbon, I don't point to the charge. Draw arrow, 
point of my carbon. So basically what's happening is the VR miners will join join to my C class to form the product. Of course this will be the first step. And so you have your product form, CH2VR, order to a CH2VR. I hope that after this discussion, we have a better understanding of the electrophilic addition of the alkenes. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.